Hi, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place and today I'm going to show you how to use the Coachman 576. So on the near side we've got a wet locker and in here we've got the mains cable. Um, there's an external 230 volt socket so for power into your awning when you've got an awning up etc and there's a little cut out and you can put power straight in and then just wet boots muddy boots etc can just go into the side locker there we've got an external gas barbecue point so this works off the main gas bottles at the front you can get a little adapter and then that can just go straight onto your barbecue or grill etc little yellow tap once it's plugged in that just turns in the direction of the pipe work and that lets the gas through at the front we've got the gas connection um, you don't need any regulator or anything like that it's all built into this one so it's literally just a red propane gas bottle it's on a hand wheel so you don't need any spanner or anything like that and it's reverse thread so when you tighten this up onto your red gas bottle you just do it the opposite way to normal and it's just hand tight and then just a bit of a nip and that will be perfect room for two gas bottles um, so just put the straps around there and that will secure those in it's got 13 pin electrics so you just need to make sure that your vehicle has got 13 pin electrics on there on the near side or the offside sorry so on the offside at the very front this is where our water pump is going to fit in so in the sink is the water pump and that is just going to fit into this one here goes into your aqua roll and that then as you turn your taps on inside that will put the power to the pump and pump the water through you can put filters into these so you can swap the water filter if you're going to drink the water um, this just unscrews off and buy the little trimmer water filters you can get an external shower fitment um, so if you wanted to use an outside shower for the dogs etc you can buy a kit comes with a shower and a pipe for the inside and that just plugs into the bottom there next we've got the truma water heater so this is the flue for the water heater so if you're going to use it on the gas this cover must be removed if this cover isn't removed when you're trying to light it on the gas it's not going to light and then eventually there'll be a build-up of gas and this will go flying off across the field so just make sure that cover whenever you're going to use that boiler is fully removed and then for winter uh, and when you're not using it it just clicks back on as so we've then got the battery box so we've already got a battery located in there there's two external aerial points you just have to have a look inside at where they run to um, so basically when you go on site and they've got an aerial already on site you can just put a little lead from either of those into the site power and that will give you the aerial signal from the site motor mover switch is the little black one just in there when you come to pick it up we'll show you how that works and then just at the top that's where you're going to put your 230 volt cable that plugs into there and then the opposite end onto the site power there's a little cut out just at the bottom there and that's where your cable will go through and that will allow you to lock that back up We've got the motor mover again we'll show you that when you pick up and then just below the cassette toilet we've got our two wastewater outlets so all of our wastewater from our sinks and shower will come out of there so we've got our cassette toilet so that's the actual cassette and then just above is our flush water so all of your water for the flushing of the toilet is going to go straight into there and pink chemical the actual cassette just pop up the orange handle and that will slide out there is a video on our youtube channel um, exactly how to do the toilet completely um, so if you're not 100 percent sure on that just have a quick search of our youtube channel if you lift that up and the cassette doesn't just come out nice and easily the chances are inside the flap on the toilet is in the wrong position so i'll just nip inside now and just show you what i mean by that so inside we've got the actual cassette toilet now to open 
the little flap just let everything through we've got the little grey handle now if that's in the open position so you'll see that just maybe not see I don't know whether they can pick that up on the camera but the little flap is opening and closing now if that is in the open position and not in the closed position and you try and remove the cassette outside it won't come out so if the cassette's not coming out just pop inside make sure that's fully to the front and fully closed and then that cassette outside will just come out onto the inside of the caravan for all of our power etc it's just above the door so we've got our master power switch we've got our lights we've got our water pump on and off so that will put the power through to our water pump outside as i mentioned we've got our volts checker so that will tell you what power we've got coming off the battery and then we've got our awning light hopefully you can see our awning light on So that's all of our main bits and pieces. Now, for normal conditions, before you put this water pump on, um, once you've plugged it all, once you've plugged all the pumping out on the outside and put it into your aquarol, before we put that pump on, there's a couple of things that we just need to make sure, and that is that we've opened the lid, put the tap over the sink and made sure that they're off. That's the actual pump that we'll plug in on the outside and drop into your aqua roll. We need to do the same with our bathroom tap and our shower tap and just make sure everything's all turned off. And then just underneath of our seat, we've got two yellow taps now. At the moment, they're set to drain the caravan down. So once you've finished using the caravan or if it's winter you're going to want to drain the water system down and to drain the water system down we pop those two yellow taps into the upright position as they are now and then we open all of the taps up and that will just drain all the water back out through the system um, so when we come back in we need to make sure that all of our taps are closed and then those two little yellow tabs are back in the position down like they are now now we can go ahead and we can put our water pump on and we know that we're not just going to empty all the water outside onto the floor um, while we're underneath of this seat we have got our master power unit with all of our trip switches and fuses and that's just underneath of here now if you ever get to site and you're not sure whether you've got 230 volt power coming into the caravan um, there's a little test button here so that little test button you press that in that one will trip down and that tells you that you've got 230 volt plugged into the caravan now while I'm pressing it now I've obviously not got any 230 volt power plugged into the caravan so nothing is happening so if you're plugged in on site and you're pressing that and nothing is happening then there's no power coming from the site um, so you just need to find out why that is if you press that that flips down you know that you've got 230 volt coming in and then if you ever have anything little lights gone um, and the bulbs seem okay etc just check your fuses and they're just all there So once we've done those checks, as I say, with our water, we've made sure our drain valves are down, we've closed all the taps down, we've opened the lid on the sink and put the tap over the sink. We can then pop our water pump on and then that will actually go a little red light as we're running the water pump. And then what you do is open, start on your kitchen tap, open up on the cold. So we'll start on the kitchen tap and what you do is open up on the cold let the water run it'll cough and split for about 20 seconds and then you'll get a nice flow of water pop it over then onto the hot water tap and then you'll have a good five minutes of coughing and spluttering because that tank underneath that seat by the drain off valves that's got to fill up with water and we've got to get all the air out of the system so with that in the open position on the hot that will just purge the system through get all of the water through the system 
and then that will allow us to fill that up as I say five minutes it's going to be coughing and spluttering and then eventually it will start to run as the cold water did um, and just a nice steady flow once we've got that we can turn that off and then just do the same with our bathroom taps are again hot and cold um, so we've got the water coming through and then do exactly the same on the shower run the hot and the cold and again once it's got a nice steady flow of water we know that all of our water system is full and ready to use and put our water heating on um, now never put the water heating on until you've got the water through the system otherwise you're going to cause problems and damage the actual water heating element so uh, i'll come to that in a minute next along we'll get the gas through the system so we'll start on our hob and all that we'll literally do is make sure that our gas is connected at the front make sure that we've turned the gas bottle on so there's a little valve at the top that you just screw into the open position and then we'll start on our hob and we'll press our hob knobs in onto the big flame and we'll do all four so all four rings at the top we'll light those up and we've got the little igniter so once we're holding those in we'll hit the igniter they will light up uh, again it can take about 30 40 seconds of, of holding that in and hitting the igniter just before it lights up once they're lit up you know that the gas is coming through we'll do exactly the same then with our grill do the same with the oven and then we know that we've got the gas coming through the system um, and then our fridge our fire and our heating system or our hot water system will then all work a little bit easier on the gas so if we want to run our fridge quite nice and simple we literally hold the button here at the bottom that will turn the power on we've then got our selector so at the moment it's lit up for electric now we've got a little warning light because i've not got any power plugged in it's just saying that we've got no electric plugged in obviously once you've got 230 volt plugged in you will literally just get the plug symbol um, you can then adjust the temperature how cold that you want the fridge with this right hand one if you hadn't got 230 volt and you wanted to run it off the car battery so this won't run off the battery on the caravan it's actually just when you're towing it will keep cool as you're towing if you've got all 13 pins and then we've got our gas so again once we've got our gas through the system as we've just showed you uh, that will light up on the gas then turn everything back off it's literally just that bottom one quite nice and simple on the on the uh, fridge on our hot water system as i say we need to make sure that we've got our gas through the system first and then our controls are just underneath of our seat where we've got the main power unit etc um, so once we've got all of our water through to put our electric hot water on just pop that bottom one on and that does our electric hot water and then if we want gas hot water we literally just pop that to the flame wait make sure that we get the green light and it stays lit green on on the outside as i've mentioned we've got to make sure that we've removed that cover um and make sure that the that white cover isn't on there if we're going to use it on the gas otherwise it just won't light and it'll cause you issues heating system then so we've got our fire um, now again this works on gas and electric now in the wardrobe we've got our carpets and then just in the back there you'll see a little light a little like a light switch now that's actually the fused power to the fire so we'll leave that in the off position so you shouldn't really need to put that on and off um, but if you ever had a fuse go or anything with the the fire that's where that is um, for our electric heating so you'll see on the side panel just here we've got our little panel here that says truma ultra heat and in the bottom left it says 230 volts so that is what then we put our heating on 
the fire if we've got our 230 volt plugged in we can then select either 500 watts a thousand watts or 2000 watts so again the reason they give you three different options is if you go to a site and they've only got a low ampage pitch you might want to just run that on 500 watts if you go to a site and it's a 16 amp site and they've just got no issues with running um, all your different things on electric then you can run it on the 2000 or a thousand and again it might be that overnight you want to just keep the fire just ticking over so you put it onto 500 and that will just keep it cut keep the caravan warm during the night uh, and then in the middle is our thermostat so from one to nine and again that will just control the heat that that fire puts out on the top of the fire then on the top left here we've got our gas controls um, so to turn our gas fire on turn that round to 10 hold that one in and then we hit this igniter here uh, five or six times when we release this we should then hear the roar of the fire and you should hear it roar up and, and actually light up um, and that then is your gas fire running again the numbers on the top then is your thermostat so you can then set that to the heat setting that you actually want that to be um, so that's your gas side of it so we've then got our blown air heating which is over on this side on the right hand side of the fire now this will work with your gas or electric heating um, now once you've set your gas or electric heating on and that is then putting the, fire, the heat out of the front of the fire we can just pop that onto a for automatic and you might just hear the fan start to kick in now and that will just automatically work with the thermostat on the either the gas or the electric side um, and just keep putting that heat out for you once the And just keep blowing the the warm air around on either the gas or the electric you have got the option also if if it was a hot day and you've got no heating on and you just wanted some cool air blowing around the caravan we can put it over to the left hand side and that then we can control the speed of that fire um, and that will then just put cool air around and then again back into the middle that one is off We've then back onto our bathroom and we've got our cassette toilet. As I said, the little grey handle at the bottom, that will actually open up the trap and let everything through and into the cassette at the bottom. And then to actually flush your toilet, you'll hear that. And that will then, if we've got our flush water compartment full outside with our water and pink chemical, that will then just put the water through the toilet. And then we can just open the flap and let everything through. And then as I say we've got our sink tap and our shower uh, we've got little light switches on here now they won't work unless our little pull cord just here is on and then we can then put the individual switches of our lights on and then again instead of having to do both I don't know whether you can see in the mirror there we can just pull that and that will turn off the main one but not the shower so uh, you have got that option into the kitchen area again we've got an extractor fitted um, over the kitchen area so to open this up and we can use this just to let cool air in as well if it's warm um, we open up with this on the side what you do need to remember is that whenever you've finished and you're going home just make sure that's put up down and again during the day if you're going out uh, pop it down just in case it starts raining etc to use the fan to use the fan we've then got the controls just on the side here uh, so in the middle we've got our on button press that in 
uh, and you'll get the lights on and then you've either got extract out and you just press it to turn it up quicker and then you can have it blowing cool air in as well so you can turn the fan around the other way just let it stop doing what it's doing and then open the, the vent fully up and then that will blow cool air into the caravan uh, and again just to stop it just in the middle and that will turn it off we've got the microwave in the cupboard just above the uh, the hob and the oven now this will only work when you've got 230 volt plugged in and it's literally just turn the control dial um, to get that to work and then you've got your different settings one thing just to remember is remove your microwave plate um, when you're going to travel I'll pop that just underneath the seat so your microwave plate's just hidden under there for you um, that just stops any chance of this coming open while you're travelling and landing on the glass lid and smashing that um, so it's just, just a bit safer and again just make sure when you come to travel all your window catches have all been popped down um, you've closed all of the, the glass lids there on the on the tops etc and uh, it's all safe to travel hopefully we've give you a quick demonstration of how to get up and running and how to use everything if there is anything that you're not too sure on uh, or you can't get going just give us a call and we can go through it on the phone with you Thanks, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.